Shalom all. Call Haloyim, where Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Rechakodas, in the water, the water, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, for the spirit and truth. As always, giving double honors to my apostles, the head elders of Great Millstone, who are well, and taught me this truth through the spirit of Bakathon. And as always, salutations to the Zaquanian Wa'akim across the four corners of the earth, that's teaching this truth in sincerity, faith, and honesty. And Shalom, Wahabatham, Lahab Bakhariam, Shayah Sha'alam, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel scattered about the four corners of the earth. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9. It says, I'm going to start verse 8. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon. Right, Babylon is uh, America. All right. It says, an assembly of great nations of Babylon are great as America. All right, so like an assembly of great nations from the north country. All right, so who are those? What is that assembly of great nations from the north country? These, nation, these nations from the utmost part of the earth, or you, will, uh, if you will, uh, lack of better terms, uh, the ends of the earth, man. All right, which uh, pursuing the Ezekiel 38 chapter, starting with Russia, which is in the land of Gog and Magog, being that bear that the scriptures uh, talk about, being a guard unto the other nations, man. All right, to what? Because they're getting ready to fulfill the third world's war, all right, which is biblical prophecy, all right, the device against Babylon to destroy the land and make it desolate. So that's why it says, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, right? And the scriptures also say, I will raise up the spirit of the Medes, man, being what? The, uh, in that land, which the word Medes mean middle. So the land out the, the, that land is the Middle East, all right? So the, 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 the bear of that land or the great nation of that land. All right, will be uh, Russia, right? The uh, guard unto the lands of the east. Okay. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her, against who? Babylon the Great, the whore that sitteth, the, sitteth upon the beast. All right. The virgin daughter of Babylon. Okay. It says, from thence shall she be taken, which is America. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Right. So, what are those arrows? Those arrows, all right, are the thermonuclear missiles, okay? All right? It's not going to say ICBM in the scriptures because this was written in parabolical terms and in metaphors and, al and al uh, uh, allegories, man, all right? And also in a mystery form where the prophets were the only ones who were given the secrets, okay? The secrets were revealed unto the servants of prophets, Amos 3 and 7, man, all right? So that what? Then shall they know that a prophet... Or the mouthpiece of the Most High was there to warn them, among them, man, that these things were going to come. And we are in the times of a great prophecy of Yahweh Shai returning to break up this third world's war, according to 2 Esther's 13th chapter, man. Because Russia think they're going to rule, China think they're going to rule, and these other nations think they're going to rule, man. Because America is through. They're ditching the dollar bill, all right? America is, is hanging off a, 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 a faith of you Americans, man, all right? Okay, but we're coming into a time of uh, uh, re reality, man, to where uh, uh, the, the RFID chip would be mandatory, okay, and uh, uh, Esau Edom is losing his grip over you, Jakes, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, and ultimately the nations uh, understand and know who he is, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and the curses are befalling him, and guess what, the beast shall hate the whore, which is NATO, okay, and then these other nations shall shoot their arrows at America which is Babylon the Great, and those arrows are the missiles. So that's why it says, their arrows shall be shot as a mighty man, slop. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain, right? Because every missile that gets shot off, all right? The scriptures say in the book of Joel, the second chapter, none shall break their rings. Verse 10, and Chaldee shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith Yahweh Shai. All right? I'm going to jump down to verse 22. All right. It says a sound of battle is in a land and of great destruction. Right. So if you know anything about Yahweh Shai, according to Exodus 15 and 3, it says he's a man of war. All right. And the scriptures say the Lord of hosts mustereth the battle in the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Now, what is this great battle talking about in the book of Revelations? I think the 11th chapter around the 18th verse or the 8th verse, it says uh, 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 the third woe cometh quickly. The word woe means destruction, man. That's the World War III because it's great destruction. 
So that's why it says, verse 22, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. All right. So this World War Three is going to bring great destruction, uh, primarily here in Babylon the Great, which is America, because the arrows, which are the missiles, are going to destroy and spoil this place, man. All right. And make it a land of desolation and uninhabitable, man. OK. Thus said the scriptures. All right. The scriptures say the smoke of her turmoil shall burn forever, even forever and ever, which is a long period of time because 200 million warhead uh, missiles, all right, warheads, if you will, thermonuclear warheads, if you will, is going to wipe this place out. And that's in the book of Revelations, it's not the ninth chapter, man. All right. Verse 23, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken, right? And what does a hammer do to nails? It, beat, it beats uh, uh, things in, right? Or what does a hammer do to anything, man? It beats things into place, right? So America is referred to as that hammer and beat what is philosophies and its democracies and its ways of lifestyle, which is Esau, Edom, ultimately, okay, across the four corners of the earth to be what? Contrary to the Bible. And what is that called? A deceiver. And what does the word deceiver mean? A devil, man. All right? Diablos, man. Okay? Covering the faces of the judges. Okay? Telling you to, you can eat abominable foods. Everything that's contrary to the scriptures, he, he promotes that. Okay? And he nails that in you, man. And he makes you do it. Just like he's going to make you, a uh, majority of you people take this RFID chip. Okay? But the elect shall, uh, 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 shall make it, man. Okay? Scripture said he shall scarcely be saved, man. All right? Y'all by Shemiel Shah is going to redeem his, his men. Okay? But nonetheless, verse 23, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Right? So America, which is Babylon the Great, is going to be made a desolation among the nations. This is why... All right? This is why in the book of Revelations... All right, chapter 18, verse 10, it says, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, all right, for in one hour is thy judgment come, right? So it's going to take one hour, 30 minutes for these hypersonic missiles, all right, to be shot from Russia and from the ends of the earth, which I'm going to read into in Jeremiah, okay? And then 30 minutes to, to completely obliterate America, which is Babylon the Great. With you people melting in it, pursuing the Zechariah the 14th chapter around the 12th verse. Okay, this is the plague, man. All right. Okay. Verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Right, that great city. Okay, that great city, which is America, everybody want to come to America. Why? Because it's, it's looked at as a delicacy. But when that's a uh, that's the that's the illusion, if you will. All right. And what these other nations are oblivious, man. Okay. But when they come into realization, they're trapped in her snares, which is what having a, 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 a to abide by her laws, her, her statutes. Okay, to abide by her rules, her reg regulations. Okay, and uh, 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 her ways of lifestyle, man. Okay, license, okay, for everything, all right, bills, mortgage, okay, all right. Verse 24, it says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware, right? Because what, and what is that snare, that ultimate snare is the thermonuclear missiles, man. Because what does the scripture say in the book of Job? Let's get that real quick. All right, this is Job chapter 20, I believe. Yep, Job chapter 20, verse 24. It says, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. All right, so what is that bow of steel talking about again, man? Thermonuclear missiles. And it said, he shall flee. Why? Because a snare is laid for him. Matter of fact, let's get another one in Job. Job chapter 18, verse 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and they trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. Right, so scripture say, terror shall make him afraid on every side. Why? Because all these other nations are gathered against Babylon the Great. Because why? The hammer of the earth 
is being cut asunder, man. And the scripture say in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, around the 12th verse, I think, or around the 8th verse, I believe, it said, although also become as weak as us, all right? But what does that mean? Because uh, that pump is brought low. What does that mean? That pride, that, 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 that their, their way of life, all right? Their control over the minds and the governments, all right, of the people, man. The minds of the people, man. You see? The Most High said, the light of the wicked shall be put out. You see? Know it's not this from old, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and but for a moment. You see? So it's only a matter of time before Yahweh Shai uh, 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 put it on these kings of the, of, of the earth, according to Daniel 4, chapter 17, verse, I believe, to uh, actually press this button to shoot these thermonuclear missiles off. To what? Jeremiah chapter uh, 50, verse 25. Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai have opened up his armory and, his, and has brought forth his weapons for his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts in the land of the Chaldees. All right. So America is going to be spoiled by these thermonuclear missiles. Come against her from the utmost border. Right. And in the KJV 1611, it says from the end. From what? The end of the borders, the end of the earth, which is out there in the east. Primarily Russia, Iran. OK. Turkey. All right. These these lands are, are, are in the scriptures pursuing the Ezekiel 38. And also in the book of Genesis, these lands also had uh, uh, people that, native people that lived there and occupied that land and it was named after them. But out there in the land of Gog and Magog, those are not the original people. Those original people that land were uh, Japhites, man. They were, Jeph they were Japhetic people. The land out, the people out there that's occupying the land of Gog and Magog today are, are Hebrew uh, Edomites, red Hebrew Edomites, Esau Edom. Okay, the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right? It says, because that's what the scriptures say, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. He stole, he steals lands, he kills the people, the native people of that land, and he destroys what? Their images, their structures, their economy, their democracy, their heritage, their culture. All right? And he set up what? His philosophies and his democracies and his way of lifestyle. Okay? Um, verse 26, come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. This is the point. I'm going to close out on this. All right. Going back into the thermonuclear missiles, jumping down to verse 40, Jeremiah 15, 40. As you, how about Shimei Aoshai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah? How did, how was Sodom and Gomorrah overthrown? By what? Fire and brimstone that was rain, rain from heaven. But do not the scriptures say in the book of 2 uh, Peter, the third chapter, that the, the heavens and the earth that are kept and reserved right until now are preserved until the day of fire. This is the second death, man. You see? What is that day of fire? That day of fire is going to be what? Pursuing through the thermonuclear missiles. That's why in Isaiah the ninth chapter it says, this, this war shall be what? Fuel of fire. What's going to fuel fire? Okay? These thermonuclear warheads, man. Okay? All right. That's why in the book of Revelations, the ninth chapter, they pursue, they're, uh, 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 they're uh, described as lions and fire came out of their mouth, roughly to say, because lions have what? Their, their teeth are power. You see? So what? The fire is going to be a very powerful fire, man. Okay? And, it's, and they also describe their tail, too, because what? That goes to show from the beginning to the end of these missiles, none is going to be left. All right, it's going to be complete fire to uh, melt this place, man, with you people in it, all right, that do not repent and believe in Yahweh Shai. All right, just like he did in Sodom and Gomorrah, verse 40, Jeremiah 15 and 40. As Yahweh Shai went through Sodom and Gomorrah in the neighbor cities thereof, saith Yahweh Shai, so shall no man abide there, abide where? In Babylon the Great, which is America, which in the book of Revelations, the... Uh, uh, 20th chapter, I believe, uh, the last precept says, this is the lake of fire, man. Okay? In the, in the neighbor cities thereof, right, five cities were destroyed, saith Yahweh Shimei Aoshai, so these are the words of the Lord. So shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. All right? Behold, a people shall come forth from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. 
All right, and what and what are those kings gonna do in these last days? They're gonna what? Give orders, all right, to push these uh, buttons to shoot off these missiles. But these are the weapons, all right, of Yahweh Hashem Shai to destroy the land and make it desolate. This is Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse um, chapter fifteen, verse. I'm sorry, sixteen. Yep, Second Ezra sixteen and thirteen. For strong is his right hand, speaking of Yahweh Hashem Shai. That beneath the bow. So there go that bow again, uh, just like it said in Jeremiah. And like it said in the book of Job, the 20th chapter. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike him through. Which is what? The thermonuclear missiles, all right, obliterating America, which is his power structure, man. Okay? His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, right, the thermonuclear missiles, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth. Once again, the utmost parts, the ends of the earth, speaking of the great nations, the kings, all right, of these nations, all right, okay, are being raised up to what? Obliterate America. And, and Yahweh Shmuel Shai has opened up his armory, all right, which is these thermonuclear missiles, which are the wastes to, to destroy the land and make it desolate, man. All right, so with that, Lord's Witness was edifying. Until the next time, I say shalom.